Hey beautifuls, it's your girl. I'm just Jackie and I'm actually getting ready for work. So I said, why not just sit here and record me doing my face and talking with my beautifuls. Okay, so I'm starting off, you know, with a primer from uh, Cover FX. It's the mattifying one and I'm just putting it on. Putting it on and um. You know, just up here, you know, I want to see what my beautiful's been up to. So y'all let me know what y'all up to, what y'all doing, what y'all liking. Hell, y'all let me know some YouTubers y'all really been watching because I love talking to my sisters and they telling me, oh, uh, do you watch blah, 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 blah. Because, you know, you putting me on to somebody new, somebody who I can go support and go watch their channel. You know, if I like their content and everything, right? So, that's awesome, so. So, y'all let me know in the description box. Oh, not the Y'all leave a comment. Let me know, um, like, your top three uh, YouTubers that you watch consistently. And uh, if, I'm not, if I'm not already checking them out. I'll go check them out and, uh, you know, see what they're all about. See if I can add some new people in my rotation. Okay. But let me shout out three YouTubers, you know, that I watch on a regular basis. Um, I watch Jess Zanetta. I watch Lori. Um, it's Lori's Life. Um, well, I'm going to do more than three. I watch um, Naturally Nailsy. I watch Shakira Renee. I watch... Ooh. Um, golly, it's a lot of other small YouTubers that I've really watched too. Oh, I, Alyssa, is her name Alyssa? Alicia? I can't remember, but she just did a collab with, uh, with Elf with the new lip gloss. I watch It's My Ray Ray. Um, you know, I don't watch It's My Ray Ray on a regular, but you know, um, when I do get certain notifications and, and it, the title catches me. I go check her out. So, yeah. Um, I got a lot of people. In oh, how can I forget my girl Simply Key? I love watching Simply Key. Um, you know. Yeah. So, off top of my head, those are the ones I'm, that I could just think of off the top of my head. Y'all already know I watch Keisha G. And, um, but my sis ain't been posting on a regular like she used to. You know, life is, life is busy at times. So, I know she's real busy. Um, with work and everything, so hopefully, you know, when she get a moment, um, it was just ironic because I was just ch chatting with her last night, um, about that tag I tagged her on for the eyeshadow palette, and she was like, Jackie, I'd be wanting to record, but I'd be getting home so late, and then when I get home, I just be so tired, and then when she's off and relaxing, there you go, you are relaxing, you know what I'm saying? It's just so, you know, hopefully she get it in her spirit. <laughs> Get that balance back so she can come back and drop a couple of, you know, it, drop a video on us every now and then. But if y'all wonder what I'm dabbing around on my nose and my face area, well, you know, right here. Um, this is uh, the Urban Decay. Is it the de-slicker? I don't know, y'all. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I got a sample of it from, um, I think it was Sephora. I think it was uh, Sephora when, um. I was with uh, Lori and Sonetta in New York. But I got a sample of this. Honey, baby, when I tell you, if y'all are really oily in the center of your face, but baby, I can't put this all in my T-zone. This thing dries. Like, as you see me talk, y'all can already see it drying. Like, you can see like a little white overcast. I just put it where it gets super shiny, where it breaks in the nose and in my nose and right here. That's it. That's it. And I'm good to go. So now I'm just letting my primers rest comfortably. And I'm going to do my brows, y'all. Um, and just run my damn mouth. And just, I'm letting y'all know this video can be long-winded. <laughs> Come back and watch the rest later. Okay? So, anyway. If y'all seen my brow routine video. um, Actually, I've done two. One is really old. And then I, come, I came back with an updated version with less steps. Honey. I even got a version that's uh shorter than the one the the one the most recent one I have. It's just really simple. You see you see how I'm just dusting? Well I don't want to say dusting, but I'm just shaping it real quick. And I think when all those 
eyebrow videos got real popular I think we just just got out of hand with it because you don't need all those steps to get your brows right you know what I'm saying so you brush them in the direction you want them to go you make sure they're maintained and trimmed and all that good stuff and but everybody has their own technique you know do what works for you but honestly less is more for me y'all less is more less is less is more gives me the look that I want and I keep it moving honey let me tell y'all something I actually researched thinking about getting my brows uh, microbladed is that what it's called where you get the permanent tattooing of your brow baby because you know I was watching um I was watching other YouTubers videos just kept pop because once you watch one person's video everybody's video pops up in your timeline um, not timeline, but in your suggested videos about what you recently been checking out. So, you know, I saw Tony's video. I saw It's My Ray Ray. Um, our girl, Socialite Sandy, dropped one. It's been a few others I've been watching, too, because I like to watch smaller YouTubers. I like to watch, you know, uh, more popular YouTubers. Just to, I like to get a full range from people. And, um... Yeah, we good. See, I just keep I'm keeping it simple. I like to get a full range of different calibers just to see, you know, what the overall the full spectrum is. But I'm gonna keep it 100. Now, the concept is great. You know what I'm saying? Um, you always can walk out the house without doing a face. You know what I'm saying? You know, most time when we don't put makeup on, we always gonna do our brows. Sometimes I don't do nothing. I just don't care. But you know, most time for the most part, we do our brows, right? And a little bit of gloss, and we keep it moving, baby. Like I said, the concept, the purpose is great, but when when the cost came down to it, let me tell you something. It's not in my price range whatsoever. Like the lower end theories of it, like the lower prices, um, I want to say the difference is like the treatments in between because most people say they last a year to 18 months. But then the higher ones, the ones that cost more coin, um, they say it can last, I think they said it's either three to five, three to five years or two to three but I think it was three to five but you go back in between and you get touch-ups that's how it lasts that long up to five years I believe it was up to five years but when you pay that fee you're paying for the the touch-ups in between and um I'm gonna keep it a buck if I want to do it I, I want to pay I want the touch-ups in between because a year to 18 months ain't don't it's not long to be it's not long to me. Look how fast 2017 came and, and is about to leave. It's damn near Christmas. You hear me? Skipped over Halloween and Thanksgiving, didn't I? It's damn near Christmas. And, no. I, if I'm going to pay coin like that, I want to experience it longer. Go ahead and get the full, the full treatment. And, you know, and go back in between and get the touch-ups in between. Let's see. Here are my brows, y'all. That's as good as they're going to get. Because they're not going to be perfect, y'all. You know? All I can say is, if they really, 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 really off kilter, just walk, just tilt your head like this all day. And ain't nobody going to know that one is a little bit higher than the other. <laughs> okay. So, um. Alright. So, now I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little eyeshadow, I think. I think, but I don't know what I want to use. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use this Lorac palette that I showed off in my last video. But um, what else was I talking about? Oh, the microblading. Yeah, y'all. It's just, it's not in my, it's not in my, um, it's not in my, it's not in my budget. I'm. A, it's not in my budget. And y'all, y'all see, I got on this um farmer's daughter's flannel shirt today so I, I'm gonna go ahead and go for this blue that's in the palette don't I don't know how it's gonna come out don't don't 
So first of all, let me get my um let me get my um transition color. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Y'all know I love this thing. This is from Marte Cosmetics. I did a um I did a review on her the products that she gifted me. Honey, I was so amazed that she actually gifted me the products that I reviewed. This is supposed to be transition. I'm putting it all over the place. See when you're used to doing something. Normally, I just wear this as just one color and keep it going like a lid and transition all in one. And I already had, I had literally started putting it on my lid. But anyway, so shout out to her, Marte and her, um, her husband, because they're partners. I think it's her husband. Um, they're partners in the company. Started from the bottom, now to here. And actually, um, the products are awesome. And as soon as I get off this makeup, no buy, I'm, that's the first company I'm going to go to and spend my coin, y'all. Because they were nice enough to give me these products. And they're a small black owned company. And they were nice enough to give me this product when I reached out to them. So, yay to Marte Cosmetics. I love it. I love this color. One of my favorites. Alright. I don't know what I'm going to look like today. I'm just winging this shit. Wing and we're going to wing it together. So, I'm going to dig in this blue. I don't know what it's going to look like. But we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep moving and talk to my beautifuls. So, what else am I talking about? Beautifuls. I had to put the post on my Instagram. Because I know, um, a lot of my beautifuls, some of y'all don't follow me on Instagram. Some of y'all just keep up with me on YouTube. And that's cool. I mean, I love, I love my, um, because y'all, I had YouTube before I had Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, I want to add something too much, probably. No, once I get my foundation on, shit, I'll get it together. Um, what was that? So, yeah, I want to do. I want to add something new to my channel. Something, you know, um, something I've been wanting to do. And uh, for some of y'all do know, I am a, I'm a podcaster. On a show called the Pod Panel, and it gives me a platform just to speak my mind and to say, you know, give my thoughts and opinion. On you know, it ain't even got to be current stuff. We talk about a lot of stuff on the panel. We all, you know, some of the stuff is current, some of the stuff is like when we were child, you know, childhood and everything in between. So, yeah, but um, everything in between. And uh, now I'm trying to figure out what color I'm going to go for. So, anyway, that brings to what I was saying. I want to kind of do something like that on my channel. But, you know, not like in a podcast form. So, basically what I'm going to do is I I'm going to start this thing called Tell Me How You Really Feel. So, beautiful. If y'all send me a question... Y'all can send the question to my email. I'm just Jackie.com. I'm just Jackie at, at gmail.com. It's in the description box below. You can send any question you want to. Any question you want to. I don't care what it's about. I'm going to give you my honest thought and opinion on it. Right now, I'm just blending these two colors together, y'all. So I can get rid of this harsh line. And, um... And I'm going to tell you how I really feel. So, whatever questions y'all got about anything. I don't care if it's about YouTube world. I don't care if it's about politics, religion, whatever. If you seen something that was on Facebook or whatever social media platform. And you just want to get somebody else's opinion how they feel about it. Honey, email me at imjustjackie at gmail.com. And I'll do a video. On your question and I'm gonna tell you how I really feel and I'm you know post it for everybody to see because one thing I'm just Jackie is is very vocal um but I just don't throw stuff out there now if, like I said if somebody asks me I'm gonna tell you the truth but if you don't ask me I'll keep it to myself <laughs> oh my oh my keep it to myself keep my thoughts to myself eventually somebody gonna want to know you know what I'm saying? Eventually. And sometimes I ain't even got to say shit. People just know from my demeanor <laughs> when I'm around them. <laughs> Tell me why you really mad. 
Anyway, so yeah, so y'all do that. Be on the lookout for that. I already got, <laughs> I got my first video. I got to edit it and stuff, you know. Something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. And some of my beautifuls already know about it. But I've been saying I was going to do a video. And I never and I never posted a video. But when I got inspired to do this tell me how you really feel thing. I was like, well, fuck. This is the perfect time to drop this video. So I could tell my beautifuls how I really feel about this uh, particular company. <laughs> how about that? So anyway, what's next, y'all? What am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? I'm, I'm, just, um, I'm all over the place. So, I'm trying to think what color eyeliner I want to do. Do I want to? Eh, I might as well just go ahead and stick with the. Go with this blue thing. If I can find my blue. Right, there we go. And, um. Yeah, so. Beautiful. Y'all can help a sister out. Do that. You know. My YouTube sisters. Help me out. Send me a question. For those of you who do got my number, y'all can text me. Or y'all can email me, whatever y'all want to do. And I'm going to tell you how I really feel. So. Yeah, we're going to do this, like 50 shades of blue. Y'all probably wonder, why did you put your eyeliner on before? I don't know. I just, I don't know why I put this eyeliner on before. Well, I, here's, this is the reason why. Because after I put my, see how I'm touching my face? I'm, if I touch my face like this after I put the foundation on, you know, I'm I'm more susceptible to prints on my face or the makeup, you know, tra transferring over to my fingers. And I don't, don't nobody want to reapply. So, now I need to decide what makeup do I want to wear today. Y'all, it's winter time. And... <sighs> My color is changing. I'm going to have to find a winter color in Fenty because it's too red for me. It's too much red for me now. Um, So this 440 is more of my summer color. So now that my summer tan is starting to fade out. I don't think. And I would love to wear this. This damn Makeup Forever HD the stick. I got a couple of years ago. I think it's a couple of, it's a couple of years. I don't know. But I don't know. I just don't you know how you just know that something's gonna give up on you by the end of the day. Uh, and I feel like this gives up on me at the end of the day. So I guess I'm gonna go with my handy dandy uh Mac NW45 waterproof foundation. See what I'm saying? You go to your go to when um all else fails okay like this has red undertones i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the formula or what but honestly i could wear this all year round if i choose to but i don't and i haven't worn this i just started wearing this this week again because honey who wants to blow through like their ultimate favorite um foundation because that means you got to keep going out there and buying it which i can't buy even though i'm gonna make or no buy but I, I i need to get rid of these other foundations that i have in my arsenal too so this gives me a chance to explore other makeups you know what i'm saying i'm trying not to get that finger and yeah so that's why that's that's why i really hadn't been pulling for her one i didn't want to run out of her <laughs> two I need to use my other makeup. And if y'all don't know nothing about this NW, I mean the NW45. If y'all don't know nothing about this, um, oh, girl, this matte waterproof foundation, you gotta, you, you gotta work with it quickly because it does, uh, it does dry quick. Okay. So one half of my face done. And I'm about to do this other half. So that's why I was putting it on like that with my fingertips. Because it does, you got to work it quick. And I don't want to waste no product, y'all. I'm going to keep it 100. I need a little bit more. I don't want to waste no product. And I'm almost out of her. <laughs> that means I got to. So I'm trying to, look, I'm almost at six empties with MAC. Y'all know what happens when you got six empties with MAC product. You take them empties of MAC, baby. And you get you a lippy. Right? Get you a lippy. 
So, I'm going to get me a lippy, y'all. I just spit. <laughs> YouTube gets real, don't it? <laughs> YouTube gets really real, don't it? But anyhow, uh, get me a lippy. Not that I need a lippy, but it's the principle. And Max says I bring six empties to them. I get to choose a lippy out of that, whatever that selection they let me know. I'm going to get me a lippy. And that's the black ass bottom line. Mm, why not? Alright, so there we go. Done with the foundation, beautifuls. Done with that. Y'all know how I feel about these damn brows. I feel like every time I do a step, these mother of us are moving. Yes. So anyway, let's keep it moving. What I want to do next, y'all. Sometimes I I do go out the house without doing an under eye highlight, but I just feel sometimes I just feel naked um, without it. So I'm taking my um handy dandy LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I'm just gonna do a you know do a little you know a little one. I ain't gonna go heavy. See why I'm just I'm just putting in that area right there, and that's it like that make sure it's even and then I'm gonna come down my nose right here keep it back give me a little bit more I gotta get right here and that's it I'm not doing a whole lot with her that's how I put it on when I ain't trying to do a whole lot of bullshit so anyway now I got to find my handy dandy. Oh, girl. Oh, man. I left it in the my water bottle. Be back. Okay. Y'all, I'm looking at this damn thing. It's at 22 minutes already. Y'all, I told y'all Jackie can talk. <laughs> Jackie can go. Like, are y'all around me in person? Sometimes I have my quiet moment. You know? But I can sit here and record myself talking. Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna say all day because y'all know I said that YouTube hiatus, honey. Much needed hiatus. Much needed. And I'm just blending out, y'all. Alright. And I'm just gonna go back and forth. Because sometimes you put more on one side than the other. So this helps even it out. And then and going up in an angle like this helps clean up my eye just to make it look a little sharper you know something but most time like this depends like when i'm you know if i'm doing something for a special occasion going out or whatever whatever i'll do that tape thing i'll tape off my eye so my line can be real 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 precise so right now i'm just blending for life all right i, I told you i love this beauty blender it's perfect it gets right up under there where I need it to be. Where I need it to be. Now. Pulling out my handy dandy Sasha Cosmetics. Y'all. Black Friday about to be around the corner. Last year Sasha had her stuff for all. Everything on her site. 40% off. So y'all get ready for that y'all. Don't miss out this time. Go get that. Go get that. If somebody got Sasha Cosmetic Foundation, how that me? Let me know. Because um I really I really want to try it. But here's the thing, it's hard it's hard for me now to buy foundation over the internet that I have not been able to test on my skin. Because I've been it's been a couple of times that and luckily they were low in inexpensive makeups. Um, well, I wasn't mad about my coin, but yeah, I was disappointed because it didn't work. The colors, the color match was garbage. And, um, yeah. So, let me know how it is. I know they got like a cream, cream to powder type makeup version. And, yeah, let me know about that. So, y'all, y'all know I put the blue eyeliner on my eye. And I'm just going to go back over it lightly. Since I got my foundation on. And what I normally do is I, I pick a color from one of my Ulta, Ulta Cosmetics um, palettes. They got a pretty 
blue color in it right here so i just take that color i don't take i'm not going to take the same blue that i put on my eyes i'm going to take a different shade of blue and i'm just gonna and this is gonna help seal that liner so it won't run not really run y'all know how sometimes when your makeup just gets tired have y'all ever noticed that sometimes your eyeliner is like wore down you know, i don't know how it does it it's just like a little tired line that of your um Maybe because our eyes got watery during the day. I don't know. But sometimes I get that. So that helps keep that from happening. Okay. So now I'm going to contour. And y'all know what I'm going to contour with. So what else can we chit chat about beautifuls? Um, yeah. So what else was I talking about? I don't even know. But um, you know, a little light, light contour. Nothing serious. And this is the cream version of it. Um, yeah, but, well, let me tell you about what's going on in my, um, my little world. Um, y'all know I've been working this other job since I left my old employment, um, early this year in March. And oh, I'm going to keep it a buck with my beautifuls. It is corporate. It's a corporate entity. And I'm just, Jackie has never worked corporate before in her 43 young years of life it's always been a small business entity you know what i'm saying owned by you know i don't want to say mom and pops because they was making they were making money it's funny how even though you make maybe like uh when your company brings in you know two million dollars of revenue a year you're still considered a small business they got increments that that uh distinguishes small business and larger business and all that stuff and they still consider our companies that make that make um i forgot where the range stops though um but anyway you know and um yeah that's what i'm used to so <sighs> coming to corporate totally different and i know y'all like girl you wearing your um your farmer jack shirt i'm just taking a powder version just to kind of you know, seal the the cream version of my contour, y'all. So, yeah, I'm wearing my former Jack today. <sighs> it's like, it's business casual, but I'm going to put my, my jacket on over it, y'all. You know, my um, cardigan. So, I'm going to be, like, business casual today. But they always send us emails when we got to jazz it up if, if we're going to have company or whatever, right? So, now... Y'all know I love this. So I'm just going to smile and just give y'all this. So yeah, so, but, huh, I ain't going to lie, y'all. It's been a struggle. Not, not learning to work with, ooh, girls. That, totally different from what I do. Y'all know I'm an accountant. Y'all know I'm into my, my, my payroll, my receivables, payables, end of the month and all that stuff. Even though I work in investor accounting department. It's not the same type of accounting, um, the type of industry this company is. They do have corporate accounting where that's where I feel like I belong, but they ain't have no openings at that time. So, you know, and they offered a nice pay, you know what I'm saying? So, hmm, y'all know how that goes and all that stuff. So, now I'm hot flashing, y'all. Where's my face powder? I'm going to take my... What foundation did I put on today? Oh, my MAC. So I'm going to go ahead and take my MSF and, and finish off my face. With that. And, um... But, yeah. So, it, I ain't going to lie. It's been a struggle. And... And the people I work with in this corporate world y'all totally different totally different and i ain't gonna lie it was a struggle to deal with it at first but once i i accepted it not accepted it in a negative way i accepted it in a positive way i had to learn that people are going to be people and even though i came up in a world in a time that says do unto other as you want them to do unto you i feel like if i respect you you should give me the professional professional courtesy and respect me as a professional we ain't got to be buddy buddy we we ain't we, we're not gonna do nothing outside of 
where we work. But when we work together, give me professional courtesy. You know what I'm saying? Give me that. Give me that. So, but that was a struggle to accept that people is, ain't going to give you that because it's a cutthroat world out there. As J. Cole says, cold world. <laughs> it's cold world out there. And, um, yeah. So I had to learn that. And I'm and I'm not ashamed to say that because you know yeah I'm 43 but again I've never worked in corporate America before it's always been small business America where you know less people uh, less attitude and yeah it is what it is but you beautifuls I'm almost done with this face y'all I'm just um. Put it on my mascara. Then I got to put on my lippy. And I don't know what lippy I'm going to wear. But I know it's going to be probably a gloss. Or a soft matte color. Because my eyes are. I consider my eyes bold today. Okay. So. We'll see. And of course I'm going to post. I'll take pics and post it on Instagram. But um. Yeah this video was long and drawn out. And I'll slide in a final face. I'll slide in a final clip of my final face so you guys can see it. But I just don't want to drag this out. It's already 30 minutes and I'm going to keep it moving. And I love my beautifuls. So until the next video, babes. Deuces.